Okay, that is really good. What is up? So I'm vlogging on my little camera right now because I couldn't bring my big camera today. Um, so I hope you don't mind. So let me know if you guys see like a difference in the quality and everything because I noticed a huge difference. Like, I don't know, this one, my other one is just a lot better. But anyways, I just have to vlog on this one or else I'm not gonna vlog at all, you know what I mean? So it's this one or no content. So I'm gonna choose to vlog on this camera. So I'm on the way to set right now. And I thought that on the way, why not stop by Starbucks? I left 40 minutes early. And I'm like, why not stop and try the chestnut praline latte? Because I tried it like once before, but I think I got it half sweet because that's what my sister said to do. And I just didn't like it. I don't really remember what it tastes like. I just remember it not being that great. So I'm going to give it another shot and not get it half sweet. Like get the full thing, you know? So yeah, that's what we're doing. It's 1.30 right now. My casting call is at 2.30. I came to the only Starbucks that has like a drive through because literally none of them in my town have a drive through So this is like the only one. And it's always like, I feel so bad for the workers at this Starbucks because like I'm not even kidding you when I say, I don't think this Starbucks is ever like not busy. It's literally all the way backed up behind here. And when I got here, it's backed up. Like it never stops. Like it's always so full. Let me just get my to order. I've been waiting for like maybe like seven minutes. Not that bad. Hi. Hi. Good, thank you. How are you? Yes. Can I please get the grande chestnut praline latte? Grande chestnut praline? Yes. Can I please get it with oat milk? Yeah. Can you still want the whipped cream? Um, sure. Yeah. Thank Let's you so much. You. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Can I just get a sleeve? Yeah. I'll grab that for you. Awesome. Thank you so much. There you go. Have a good one. Thanks, you too. Okay, we are going to pull ourselves over for a hot second here. I hate this parking lot that I'm in right now. It's very just like hectic. We're gonna put a podcast on quickly. Okay, that is really good. That gives me Christmas vibes. I'm gonna drive now. We'll see you guys later. There is a life I lead in this city. Hurrying to cut my teeth. I can take what I need to get by. It doesn't make it easy. Hey guys, so it is currently 12 18 and I literally just got home from set. I just thought I'd vlog because I never vlog when I get home from set. It goes pretty late sometimes, especially when we have a later call time, but I'm continuity for tomorrow, so I'm gonna be there tomorrow as well. And I don't have to go in until 5 30, which is nice, so I can get um some sleep in the morning which is really really nice because it sucks when like you're on set late and then you're on the next day early but literally 5 30 is the latest call time i think i've ever even had like that is unheard of so we're probably not going to be there long i'm assuming but yeah so i'm just gonna walk inside now i'm gonna clean my face eat some food maybe I don't know, it's a little late to eat, but I'm kind of snackish right now, so that's what we're gonna do. So, you guys, my chestnut praline latte, I didn't even finish. It's like a quarter way full right now because I totally forgot to bring it with me and it was just like in my car and I'm like, shit. But, you know, I think I'm gonna bring it inside, put it in the fridge, and then heat up for tomorrow because I hate wasting Starbucks. Also, I made some new friends on set. See, what's nice about being on set is that, like, I get to meet people and, like, make new friends because I work from home, so I don't have that work environment where, like, I get to meet people and make friends so like honestly being on set is really nice and especially when i'm surrounded by people like around my age so i can meet new people because i love meeting new people making new friends so yeah it was it was a really good day anyways i'm gonna go inside now and get ready for bed because i'm tired okay you guys i have to go to set tonight but i don't want to go till later so i thought why not use this time to christmas fly my room because if you think about it if you start setting up your decorations in december that only literally gives you like a month to enjoy them when why like why wouldn't you start setting them up in november i feel like it makes you like enjoy them more they last longer because putting them up and taking them down within a month goes by too fast for me so i need to start celebrating christmas earlier because once like december hits it's basically Christmas. Like, the time goes by so fast, so I like to, like, lengthen the holiday season. So, that's what we're gonna do. I have a mini Christmas tree that I bought last year. I'm just gonna set that up today. I don't really want to do too many decorations, but I'm just gonna basically just put up my tree, and I kind of want to get, like, tiny ornaments for it, so I might go to Walmart. But since I have to go out later today, I don't know if I'm gonna do it today, but it'll be, like, in this vlog if I do it. 
So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take out my Christmas tree and start decorating. I'm so excited. I wasn't really in the Christmas mood and then all of a sudden it just kind of hit me. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh my God, it's Christmas soon. The holiday season is my favorite. I really hope it snows this year because that just like, it makes Christmas. And I also wanna try snowboarding this year. So we'll see how that goes, but yeah. Anyways, let me know if you guys are like a Christmas fanatic as well because like I'm literally obsessed with Christmas. So yeah, I bought this tree last year at Walmart. So just for reference, if you guys wonder where I got it, it has like lights attached to it. So I don't need to like set up anything. Last year, I didn't even put any decorations on it. But this year, I don't know. We'll see how it looks. Might add some cute like white ornaments I feel like would match my room. I stored it under here so here it is oh my god i forgot that i got the snow for it so last year i put this around like the tree if you guys want to see last year's video i'll have a link down below because that's when like i bought it yeah i forgot that i had snow like it's like fake snow underneath it like a skirt you know anyways i'm so excited Up. move you guys okay so last year i put my christmas tree like right here where the clothing rack is so since i have a clothing rack i think i'm just gonna put it like literally right here i feel like would be a good spot because then it's like kind of central or even like in this corner here if i just like move the ring light out of the way i can put it here move the garbage and just like make a space for here so yeah i don't know putting it over there i feel like it's too like close to the heater just too far so i feel like i don't know We'll play around with it around here. Isn't it so cute? It also has like um, fake snow on it, as you can see, which makes it super cute. Okay, gotta plop this in here. Actually, ugh, I gotta kind of set up the stand first. Cute. I don't even think that this tree was like too expensive. I honestly think I got it for like maybe like $40. I think it was $39.99. So not too bad at all. Okay, we'll put the lights on and then fix it again, but let's see where she looks good. I feel like right here actually looks pretty fire. So when you walk in, it would be right here. I actually think that looks good. Like I don't think there's really any other place to put it except in the corner, but I just realized that it's going to be too hidden in the corner. So I feel like there is like the only place that it would really fit. Maybe I'll like move this over a little bit. It's going to be kind of like right here. Okay, let's plug it in. I'm just going to plug it into the thing that I have here. Oh my god! She's so cute. Stop, I'm literally obsessed. I'm literally obsessed. This is the most like adorable thing ever. Like I'm obsessed with this tree. It's like perfect size. Let's just put a little snow around her. Okay, I think it's cute. It's like a little wrap. I'll move my clothing rack and go a bit <laughs> Let me know if I should put ornaments on it. I don't know. I think it's okay the way it is to be honest. Because it has like the snow, which kind of like, you know, makes it more decorative if you know what i mean but i don't know i feel like it doesn't even need ornaments so i might honestly just leave it like this i don't know if they still have this tree because like i said i got it last year but i will try to link it down below if i can find it on the walmart website but i'm sure if you guys have target or whatever you have near you they should have something at least like similar to this so yeah hey guys so i'm just currently doing my makeup because i'm going to set i have to leave in like half an hour so i thought that i would get started on my makeup and I just wanted to like, I've done like a makeup routine before, but I just wanted to like shout out a few products that I've been loving. I don't really do much for makeup, honestly. Like I try and keep it as natural as possible just because like my, first of all, my skin, especially in the winter, does not like when I cake on product. Like it hates it. So I, for makeup on the day-to-day -day basis, even when I'm going to set, I'll just do like concealer cream contour and blush and highlight and that's all that I do for like the face makeup I don't like putting on foundation or anything just because I feel like it just like gets gross throughout the day and it just like feels heavy on my skin so that's what I do for like my base and then I'll do like mascara and then my brows and then lip liner and then that's my like go-to um makeup look if you guys like want more of a tutorial let me know like an updated one let me know because i will do that in like one of my upcoming videos if you guys are interested just let me know but i thought that um i would just like shout out a couple products i'm also like obsessed with blush like i don't know how i never used to use it i don't know what i did without it before like if you guys don't use blush go get some cream blush is the best so this is the one that i've been loving it's from milk makeup and i actually just got this in, in like a sample size for my birthday like 
a Sephora, like you know how they give you gifts for your birthday. So this is like one of the things that I got in like the little birthday kit thing. I love it so much. I think that cream blush, it, I just use all cream products. Like I used to use like a powder contour. I used to use this powder contour, but I find that I just like doing cream, especially in the winter when my skin is like dry, it just looks better. Um, I've shown this before. So I've actually been using this product for a while. It's the L'Oreal True Match um, Super Blendable Crayon Concealer. So it's supposed to be like a concealer, I guess, but I use it to do cream contour because it works really well. I use this in the shade N678 Medium Slash Deep. So yeah, I love doing my contour with that. I really wanted to show you guys this product. So Merit Beauty was nice enough to send me some products and like this is not sponsored or anything. Like they are not paying me to say any of this, but Doing my brows, I just hate doing them. Just because like, I don't know, I just feel like it's easy to like mess up and you know what I mean? I don't know, I'm just not good at doing them. So using like a pomade, no, sorry, I don't know. Pomade? No, this is definitely not what it's called. One of these things where it's like a tinted brush. I don't, I don't know what it's called. Anyways, this is the best one that I've used. So no shade to Selena Gomez because I literally love you. I used to use her Rare Beauty one and it comes with like a pencil on one side and then it comes with a tinted brush on the other side. I don't know if I got this in a shade too dark so that's why I don't like it but it just like gives me too much of an in intense look and I just like a really natural look. So it might be because of the color, I don't know, but I just feel like it goes on too strong and my eyebrows just end up looking too done, you know? So this, Mary Beauty sent me this. And it is so, like, I haven't been obsessed with a brow product ever. And this is, like, what I'm obsessed with. And the packaging is just so cute. And then I got this in the shade brown. And it's the perfect shade for me. It goes on so nicely. Like, it's not too thick. It stays. And it's, like, it makes my brows look fluffy and natural. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys because they were so kind to send me this. This is the package that it came in. And it also comes in with, like, a carrying bag, which is literally adorable. Like, I can't. I literally can't. Um, they sent me their whole like range of products, their whole line. I haven't honestly used everything yet, but because I just like stick it to the basics, but I am going to try everything eventually. So if I like discover that I really like something else, then I'll like, mention it to you guys. They also have a highlighting stick that I'm obsessed with. The packaging, first of all, is just so cute and it's just highlighting balm. So what I like doing is I just like putting some on my finger and then applying it to my face and it gives me the most natural glow. Like it's not shimmery. So it just kind of makes it look like so natural, like it's beautiful. And it's funny because like these are the only two products I've tried from like their box and I'm already obsessed with them so I can't wait to try everything else. My eyebrows severely need like a plucking job but you get the gist, it's so good. I will have <clears throat> their website and these products linked down below. Yeah, their whole thing is like doing a match natural makeup look, like that's like the whole brand if that makes sense. And they really did succeed like it's amazing so i'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup and i will catch up with you guys later i'm running out of time so i'm gonna go fifty six dollars is the damage So we just got to the mall. We're here just to, we just have errands to run today. We have to go get some random stuff like cotton pads, Q-tips. We want to start our Christmas shopping because the malls are going to be really busy soon and I just want to start as early as I can this year. And I was thinking about getting hair extensions for Christmas. I know my hair is already like pretty long, but like it doesn't grow, like it doesn't grow past a certain length I feel like and I'm always cutting it and I want to get my dead ends off, you know what I mean? So I just want to get a pair of like I would just want to try because they have like a hair extension store in here so I just want to like fit them to my head try them get color matched so then I can ask for them for Christmas potentially because they are kind of pricey so yeah that's what we're here for just browsing getting a few random things and starting our Christmas shopping okay <laughs>
I just got the L'Oreal Telescopic. This is my all-time favorite mascara, but I think they changed the packaging because the old one was gold. And this is black, so it's sketching me out a bit. Like, I like this better, honestly, than the gold. I just like the plain black. But yeah, I think they changed the packaging. So I'm not sure, but I just hope it's not waterproof or anything. But I feel like it's fine. So I'm trying to find, like, mini ornaments for my tree, but I don't seem to find any. I found them! You guys, they literally have Lucky Charms cookies like what is this i've never seen this in my life kind of scared but i feel like they would be good like the crunchiness if they were crunchy that would honestly kind of be good um anyways i kind of want to get one of these i'm very tempted because i didn't get any halloween ones and i was really sad about it so might make some christmas ones tonight we'll see oh, okay we're gonna get them okay so we just got out of walmart and they're pretty good on a whim, right at the cash, we bought the Coke bottle Smart Sweets because I haven't tried these yet and I don't think I've even seen them. Um, so here's my first impression. They literally, oh my god, they're so cute. Pretty they're good. like little Coke bottles, they're just one solid color. Mm. They taste really fresh, like they're not stale. They taste fresh? Mm hmm. Sometimes when you get Smart Sweets, they taste like stale. You know what I mean? Like they've, no. been, they've been on the shelf for too long. No. Mm -hmm. they, they're like extra chewy. Literally all. I've never found a flavor of Smart Sweet that I don't like. Okay, so we just got back from Walmart. I switched cameras. I'm on my big camera again. And so we ended up getting these little silver decor balls that we're going to use to put on my tree. I, I, just, I was just thinking it could be really minimal. And if there's not enough, I can always go back and get like red ones or something. But I'm just going to see how these look for now. And they're only like literally $3, so they're really cheap. So it's whatever. I'll give you a bit of a Walmart haul. We got like four of these cotton pad packs because... This is what we used to take off our makeup and we just stock up on them whenever we go because we just store them because we're going to use them eventually. We got q-tips because we ran out of those. My cellar water and then I got the telescopic mascara that I was showing you guys. And last but not least, I just want to come show them. We got matching pajama pants. Come here. So we saw them and we couldn't resist because they were $10. But they're so comfy. I get my water. You can never go wrong with pajamas. Like you can never. Okay. I hope that these look good. How the heck do you open this? Oh, you also need hooks, Dummy. Oh my god, I thought they came with them. Oh, oh. she's smart. No, I thought there was going to be strings in here. Like, you know those little stringy mm. things? Maybe, oh, what job. if I got like a clear string? Because I have a clear beading string. Okay, so I found some clear string that we're just going to use. Bro, it's like slipping. Like, it I know, this is hard. I'll be back when it's done. Because this is going to take a long time. 